Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about failing to learn. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I don't seem to be able to learn any programming language. Whenever I try, I fail. Tutor tutorials on the web are so difficult for beginners like me. What can I do to solve this problem? Well, um, give up I suppose just stop trying you're not meant to be a programmer because I mean if you if you say like uh, the key thing that I'm focusing in here on is I can't learn any programming language are you trying to learn many ones like uh, several I know I don't know what's going on here because if you're trying to learn a lot of languages instead of just focusing on one then that might be your problem right there and if you say that tutorials on the web are so difficult for beginners like you to understand, then I really don't think that this is a work. This is not. You should not try anymore. There is, if if you if you're unable, if we think about, like I mean, it can be the language. I mean, if if you are literally trying now, I don't know, to learn. Say, let's take a let's take an extreme example. Let's say that you're trying to be a master of Haskell or a master of C or so forth, then maybe sure, it's too technical for you, it's too theoretical, like it might be too hard for you and maybe if you tried, I don't know, JavaScript or Ruby or something like that or Python, then it would be easier for you. Uh, so I can't really say what's going on there, but if you find, if it's not possible for you to find learning resources uh, with the enormous amount of learning resources that are out there, then you, I don't think that you should get into this industry. Uh, a lot of what a software developer does is to literally, uh, you have to learn on the job. You have to figure things out. You have to have the ability to comprehend fairly complicated things. And if you don't comprehend them, you need to know how to get the answers to your questions. And sometimes you can ask somebody, but many times you have to either Google for things or you have to uh, like try experiments and like try just basically put in la random logs or debugging and stuff like that to just figure out how everything fits together. It is a complicated thing. You will learn all these things with time of course but if you can't even get to the point where you understand how basic programming works then this is definitely not for you and you shouldn't avoid or save yourself the, all the frustration because uh, the, the industry is, this industry is not for you. Uh, as I was saying, uh, it sounds to me that you might just uh, you might just be trying to learn a language that is too hard or like something that is too too over the top for you. And if you're trying to do that, try your hand. Like uh, try slow. Like try something simple. Let's go for the the uh, in my opinion at the very least one of the simplest languages in terms of learning that you can go for. Uh, and all things considered, I think that that's going to be JavaScript. I'm not saying JavaScript because it's a simple language or that there's not simpler languages out there. I'm just stating JavaScript because there is so much learning like in terms of resources like the, I don't there's no other la other language out there that has as up to date learning resources and as many as JavaScript. None. Every single programmer out in the uh, that works as a professional needs to know this practically if you're doing web. And that's one other thing, like if are you learning web or you tr you literally your first day you try to go in for, I don't know, robotics or embedded systems. Uh, it might still work, but the learning resources that you're going to have available to you are going to be fairly limited in comparison to what you might find in a more accessible language. So that might be a segue type of thing where you start with a more accessible language and then you segue in and learn like the core things in that space and then you can go back to the thing that was too complicated and I promise you you will have a better understanding of it. Uh, I mean uh, a lot of people like to say that you should start with say a language like Java and Java is absolutely a good language if you want to learn corporate level development and so forth but you should also know that Java is although there are a lot of learning resources it's very diverse in many cases. L Java has uh, a problem with keeping things up to the latest dates in some cases. It might be actually kind of hard. Like in JavaScript you kind of, you can almost trust that as soon as something fresh comes, there's a million people doing something about it. Like they, 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 the community is world class, gold standard 
in terms of, uh, of making sure that new relevant information is coming out all the time. But in Java, not so much. Uh, you have a few key, I would say, a few key people or a few communities here and there that actually really make sure or like that are fairly good at keeping things sort of up to date. But Java is, uh, is it's, I, I will even go as far as to say that I think that most people today would have a hard time uh, finding re like, uh, really good, like, uh, really good learning resources that are not basically a jump from everything between Java 1.7, Java 1.8, I'm not even sure if you can, f like you mean if you really are specifically looking for features that is in 1.9, uh, you might be able to find it, but it, there is a bit of a, pr I, I, it's not a learning wise a, an as ex accessible language. In that space, maybe C Sharp would be a better, cho be a, uh, better choice, at least I find, find C Sharp to be more accessible in terms of learning, but at the same time, even if it is, it may not be as accessible in terms of various t people showing you different types of techniques and uh, uh, materials as uh, JavaScript. So I think that you should try out that language. And if you can't, if you can't figure out any of these languages either, I think that you should give up. Just let it go. Uh, there are the easier paths in. The, like just do it at a hobby level or like do it something like that but don't bet your entire future on this thing if if this is too difficult for you so what I want you to take away from this is that if you're finding it hard to learn a programming language from tutorials online or so forth you might be trying to learn a programming language that is fairly difficult for a lot of people and a language would be an example of Haskell or C, uh, C or something like that which is where the entry level is higher is a little bit higher uh, a little bit more technical and then you might find it easier to start with a language like Ruby or Python or C sharp or well Java per not Java is also fairly good in some cases uh, or JavaScript would be my personal recommendation it's probably the one that will be the easiest for you to find things to learn from and if none of these things are easy or feel accessible to you uh, then give up and your mind is not shaped to do this sort of work because I can promise you uh, you learning a programming language is the first baby step and if you want to take that uh, take a leap into a professional grade software developers role you're gonna have to handle complexity that is a lot higher than just understanding those basics everything is hard in the beginning but it gets even harder the further you go have a great day